Hey there, I'm Rob, and I'm going to take you through how to create an account on Glyph. There are three steps we're going to go through. Claiming a Glyph, saving your facets, and making a connection. Claiming a Glyph is an important first step. It establishes your unique username for the service. To get started, you're going to need to open a web browser to gli.ph forward slash m. You can also access this on your smartphone by navigating to the exact same URL. Each glyph is made up of three to five symbols we call artifacts. Here's a view of the artifacts available to choose from. Many people choose their artifacts based on their personality or life experiences. You may want to choose artifacts that in some way reflect who you are. Since each glyph is unique, you may find that the glyph you want is taken. You should keep trying until you find something that you like and is still available. Alternatively, you can choose Go Wild, which automatically looks for a 5 artifact glyph that is still available. Once you've picked out your glyph, hit Go and then enter your email address. Choose a password of at least 6 characters. Glyph offers very high encryption capabilities, but it's only as strong as your password. A unique and hard to guess password is recommended because it will help secure your account to the fullest extent. All right, we're ready for step two, saving your facets. Your glyph acts as a digital identity. This means that it becomes more useful when you've saved personal information in it. We call personal information like your Twitter handle or your phone number facets. As you make connections with other glyph users, you can choose exactly which facets are shared with whom. So the more facets you save, the more flexible your glyph is. All facets are optional. Privacy is our mission. All information you save here is secured with military grade AES-256 encryption. All data remains your property and is never shared with anyone without your explicit permission. For more information about how we treat your facets, please refer to our privacy policy. The third and final step of claiming your glyph is to make your first connection with another glyph. The support glyph is automatically sending you a connection request when you sign up. We recommend you accept this connection. It's listed under incoming connections. You can see here that the support glyph has chosen to share three facets with you. To continue, ex begin accepting the request and then enter a tag for the other glyph. In this case, we'll just simply enter support. You can then choose exactly what you want to share with this glyph, and in this case, since it's support, we'll choose only our first name. After you've accepted the connection, you can immediately begin sending secure messages with the other user. In the case of the support glyph, someone from the glyph team will respond to any questions you have about how to get the most out of glyph. That concludes our tutorial on how to claim a glyph. Thanks for watching.